family and friends, we gather in this beautiful setting uh, to acknowledge and witness the union of this couple in holy matrimony. Allie, we started our journey over five years ago. And if you would have told me that I would be standing here with a cute brunette with big blue eyes who saved me that seat in calculus class, I never would have believed it. Over the past five years, we have built a loving relationship that I know will never fall. Together, we have created memories that we will one day tell our grandchildren. Through, those, through these years, you have become my best friend, my travel partner, my foundation, and my whole world. You are everything that my mom told me to find in a woman. You are intelligent, loyal, trustworthy, beautiful, and more importantly, you are my home. You always know how to cheer me up and have been my biggest supporter since day one. I love how thoughtful and passionate you are with everything you do. I love how your, your eyes and your smile light up the room when you get an idea for, an, for a date or even a uh, weekend trip. I love how much you light up when you talk about our future together. I will forever be blessed that you are the one I get to spend my whole life with. Today is also not just about me and you, but the people dearest to us. I'm blessed. I've been able to see and hear about two people who have loved each other and made sacrifices for their kids. The same two people who have allowed me to join their family and trust me with their daughter. I tried. I tried. You're beautiful, sweetheart. The same two people who treat me like their son-in-law from the very beginning. These two people I have become to love very dearly and they mean so much to me. I have also gained a new brother. I have become to love and respect him as well. He works really hard and I know he's going to do big things. I also gained two more grandparents, although I did not know them for a long time. They were still able to make their way into my heart. I will always remember our conversations together and sitting on their front porch enjoying the weather. I will also never forget what your grandfather told me. He said, I'll give you some advice. When you make her mad, make her smile, and it'll all be fine. Trust me. I've been around two of them for a while now, and I'm sure Allie acts just like them. When he said that, your grandma smiled and laughed. She turned at me and she winked. I am blessed that I, have, that I am being welcomed into a loving family. Allie, I have vowed to always support your dreams. I vow to always be by your side. I vow to always protect you. I vow to always be loyal, trustworthy, and considerate. I vow to always love you and remind you of that every day. Today marks the day that we are officially one household and one couple, and even better, one name. I love you with all my heart, and I am excited to see what our future holds for us. Tyler. When I asked God for a husband, I didn't quite realize just how abundantly blessed he would make me. He gave me not only the man I prayed for, but for more. He gave me a better half, a home, and a protector. You effortlessly changed my life for the better, and you made it easy to fall in love with you. I've never once looked back. I want to thank you for being my rock and my biggest supporter. Your love and patience are a virtue, and because of this, you've always felt like home to me. You have loved me and grown with me during life's most difficult moments, and I promise to do the same with you. I want to also promise a few other things. I promise to make you laugh. I promise to help you find your keys, your wallet, and your phone <laughs> whenever you lose them. I promise to continue looking forward to your phone calls right when you make it to your truck after work. I promise to be your shoulder to cry on because whether or not you want to admit it, you'll need it someday. 
and I promise to always be loyal and loving. From the time I was 17, I knew it would be me and you. So quickly, we learned so much about one another, and we became irrevocably inseparable. We simply have a bond that cannot be broken. In the time that we've collected, you've taught me unimaginable resilience, bravery, and kindness. You've been through so much, but have never let any of the negativity prevail. For this reason alone, you should be so proud. But that's not all. You are selfless, compassionate, and as empathetic as they come. As you know, I've always said that you are the most genuine person I know, and I'm confident that all of these attributes will continue to radiate in our marriage. I'm so thankful to know that you are my life partner, that you will be the father of my children, and that you will remain my best friend until the day God calls one of us home. Marrying you has been the greatest privilege of my life, and I eagerly step into this marriage with you. Where will life take us next? I don't know. But you and I both know all too well that tomorrow isn't promised, so as long as I have you with me, it won't matter where I go. My final promise to you is to stand by you during not only your most rewarding days, but during the days where you need me to carry the weight. Life gets to be too much sometimes, and I want you to know that you always have me. It's you and me forever. I will continue to honor you and love you for as long as I shall live. I love you, Tyler. I want to ask the congregation to please rise. I ask who gives this woman to be married to this man? I, Tyler. I, Tyler. Take you, Allie. Take you, Allie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. To this day forward. For better or for worse. From better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness. To love and to cherish. Until we're separated by death. Until we're separated by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you this promise. I give you this promise. By the uh, state of Ohio, they give me this this ability to do this, but more importantly, because of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you man and wife. Tyler, kiss your bride. Now you can face your congregation. And it's my pleasure for the first time to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Malone. Gentlemen, if you would, please stand up on your feet and let's make some noise for the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Tyler.
Okay. I'm, I think you guys are going to like this one. Okay. Right, look down to the ground. Okay. Look down. Okay. Down to the ground. Down to the ground. One, two, three. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> that's so good. Oh my gosh, that's oh, legit. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys like it. I will leave you the camera.